Yeah, this one. Yes. Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are all awake. Otherwise, we can go for a round of coffee. And uh, good morning, uh, uh, everyone, once again. And uh, thanks, Mr. Maruf Raza and uh, Mr. Ram Sastri. They have spoken already all that I have to say. So I had to only quote Mr. Maruf uh, Raza and Mr. Ram Sastri and run away. So my job could be done as well within one minute and then I should say thank you. Uh, but since I have worked in the police uh, for about, uh, let us say, 35 years uh, in uh, various capacities, I can uh, imagine what Mr. Ram Sastri said. That is, the uh, attacker knows you best. Because we are too keen, we are too eager to tell others that how good we are and what are all the um, security fortresses we have built. All security fortresses, uh, if you see the history, look back in the history, they have all been opened from inside, not from outside. I hope all of you know, Battle of Plazi and all, uh, Mr. Maruf Raza can tell you stories. All battles, all um, uh, impregnable, uh, um, uh, impenetrable fortresses have been opened from inside. So, uh, uh, you be careful about your internal vigilance. So, that will come a little later. So, I am talking about insecurity in banking. More as a policeman, of course, I am the Reserve Bank Security Advisor. I am going to Mauritius on Monday morning to talk to them about their security also. Uh, so, uh, in the year 2030, as per a uh, survey, there will be no conventional crimes, no rapes on the roads, it will be all done through computers only. So, um, there always uh, money can be uh, uh, taken away and uh, a person can be a walking dead man. You don't have to kill them physically. So, you know about that Nick Leeson who had brought down the Barrington Bank in uh, London single-handedly by indulging in derivatives uh, uh, play. So if that, is the, that has happened in 1995, so if that can happen in that period of time, in 2015 onwards, things can be unimaginable. So we have to be ready for a bloodless uh, kind of a murder that would happen to all of us. Chanakya in Arthasastra spoke about embezzlement in 40 different ways in 400 BC, uh, 300 BC. So now I'm sure we have added quite a few zeros to that. So I have interrogated a girl working in a BPO and uh, Citibank uh, had lost about 90 lakhs of rupees. She swept in, 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 in about an hour or a day's time, 90 lakhs of rupees and gave it to a friend. Then when I talked to her, she was telling, interviewing her, she was telling in another 220 ways I can do it again. It's a small girl no? from Tiruchi. So that is, so 400 ways of uh, Chanakya has become a past, you know, Pasi. So, um, uh, so uh, that is a kind of a scenario we have uh, developed. If you look at the frauds, this is the Reserve Bank of India's uh, um, uh, uh, statistics. If you look at the frauds, total amount in crores, this is how it has grown. So in the last uh, one year, uh, uh, it has grown four times, uh, two times more. And uh, definitely, if you see, it is true of uh, robberies and uh, decoities also. The number of robberies and decoities could have come down, they have come down, but the amount of money taken away has become much more. So the intensity of the attack is more and the number could be less. If you see here, 50 crores and more is, is, is much more in number than the smaller time. So people are not wasting their time for small amount of money. Uh, two days before, I, oh, one lady from a top insurance company spoke to me that house, her house has been burgled and a few lakhs of rupees worth of jewellery has gone. So since 1998, I was joint CP uh, crime here, joint commissioner of police crime. I've been advising everybody who heard like this in this kind of forum that either keep your jewellery and money in the bank locker or insure. So uh, nobody has heard me. So I asked her, Madam, have you insured? You are the top insurer uh, you know, yourself. She says, no, I haven't done that. It's a stupid thing I have done. There was another CEO who gave the card, you know, ATM card and the pin to her PS and asked to collect money. She realized that money has been lost to the tune of 48 lakhs of rupees only when much later, uh, 48 lakhs have gone. And I arrested the PS, but unfortunately, she said, the CEO asked me to go and bring money and give it to her, give it to her by hand. In the ATM, you have a camera, but not in the CEO's cabin. When I gave it to her, you didn't record it. What do you do with that? So I am just warning, warning that the amount of money which is lost is more. This is the much talked about thing. I am showing you for a purpose. Police 
वो दिखाई दे रहा है लेकिन ये शख्स अब तक पुलिस के हाथ नहीं आया पुलिस दैट्स पॉइंट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से That is up to the police. Ka, that was on 19/11, 2013, and he has already committed a murder of a woman in Andhra Pradesh. That much knowledge we have. So, as Mr. Maru, Maruf Raza said, that having put CCTV, can we go for a dance? Said we have done the ultimate in security. CCTV is there. The man is there. The woman was lying there for three hours, bleeding. Her neck was cut. But we didn't have a video analytics. The cameras didn't work, and the man has not been arrested even today. Now, what do you say? Okay, you have done the CCTV. You have got the identity of the accused. He has done it earlier. One murder of a woman, and another woman attempt to murder is ha happened. She is a corporation bank manager in Malayalam of uh, uh, Bangalore. What else you can say? So, in this, I would like to say that even uh, on the sixth, seventh night, uh, uh, that night between in Islamabad of uh, Sangli district next to Kolapur. Uh, an ATM was uh, looted, attempted to be looted, and then uh, some two people, others outsiders, came and intervened, and one was done to death, and the other is struggling for his life in the hospital. Just now, between sixth and seventh morning. Today is what the eleventh, four days before. Now the police has gone there, IG has gone, SP has gone, but as he rightly said, the man is dead. Now that man has nothing to do with here. Now when I study the case, the ATM doesn't belong to the bank at all. The banks have given uh, to somebody else. Somebody else is running that, and they have put some camera, but that camera stopped working on the 30th. So for six days the camera was not working. So now, what is the use of cameras? Uh, like, for example, Navin Mumbai, they put out to about 260 cameras. It is not working because that uh, quarterly bill has not been paid to the Reliance. All of us seeing the camera, we do believe that fantastic cameras are there. But are they working? At least in Islamabad, since 30th of uh, March, that camera was not working. And that ban money is not lost because when these people came intervene, they were engaged. The uh, uh, the decoys were en engaged, and but they killed those people who intervened. So even that good Samaritan hereafter would not come. Now look at this equipment which an ordinary housebreaker uh, has taken in South Canada, Uttar uh, South Canada, Dakshin Canada of Karnataka Jilla. Look at this jammers and. Uh, all that kind of a thing, and um, this is not a, a person who has gone to loot a bank, or uh, uh, Fort Knox, or uh, uh, for example, Tanishk showroom in Hyderabad, where 23 crores was lost by creating a manhole. Now all the equipment is here, and now what are they? Quickly, high-powered cell phone jammers, two in number, one desktop jam jammer, high-powered desktop uh, signal jamming for cellular phone and Wi-Fi and GPS signal, about two three kilometers it would do. Normally, Israelis come to attack a Hamas leader in Baghdad or places like that. This they jam the whole thing from the above, get down, kill, and go away. In Baghdad, it happened. I'm sure you know. And uh, in the hotel also, they came and killed in Dubai. So this is how they do. They bring this equipment, a night vision camera attached to a vacuum cleaner rod and connected to blah blah and all that. Portable five uh, volt batteries, plastic explosives. Mostly for blasting a hole in a wall or door. Now imagine a housebreaker bringing plastic explosives. If I want to have plastic explosives to train my dogs, they are not available. Thousand licensing and other they will arrest me straight away, put me in the lockup for having pos in possession of that. But here is a fellow cutting and drilling tools of Bosch company, etc., etc. As he said, as Mr. Ram Sastri rightly said, your attacker is always three steps ahead of you. We have budgetary problems. We have uh, high-level people are not involved in the security. As he rightly said, as long as the security man gives a kadak salute, I think the CEO is very thrilled. Whether it is a banker or a CEO of any corporate uh, uh, house. Look at the modern terrorists, Azmal Kasab. Actually, his picture is there, but in this, it is not there. They have used. He is a fourth standard fail. A fourth, fourth class fail. I have talked to him, and uh, these are the technical uh, capabilities he has been given in Murdike of uh, Pakistan. Ten people came, nine dead, one alive, and uh, he, he he used all these things. They used Facebook, Twitter, psychological counselling by uh, satellite phone, VoIP, uh, ma, 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 phone calls. All that they have been doing, doing, but we, when I spoke to the bankers in Bangalore after this incident, they said we are not aware that this analytics can be inbuilt in the CCTV that it will tell us that the body is lying there for more than three hours. For more than three minutes, we can find out if the um, outdoor uh, that uh, shutter, if it is locked or open, unauthorizedly, we could be alerted in real time basis. We can know. 
But the challenge is 3G or 2G or 4G doesn't work in all rural areas. But why don't we try in Bangalore, Chennai, uh, Hyderabad, Mumbai and other places? So we need to invest money and the banks by giving this to outsourcing to the others. For example, in Thane Rural, in an incident about 4-5 months, 2.45 crores went. Nothing, it has not been detected. But the bank has collected from the uh, uh, insurer or whoever it is, but the agency is not able to collect it from anybody, whoever is that. Same thing in Delhi, one, two, three, four, five, six incidents have happened that uh, outsourced agency is struggling. Look at this, by buying a 2,000 worth 3D printer, you can print a gun. So this is two steps, three steps ahead of you. And somebody has fired 200 rounds uh, to, as a proof of concept. So if this can be done, anything can be done. Again, in that uh, hotel in uh, uh, London, uh, um, uh, Hard Rock Cafe, I clicked the picture. It says nuclear, uh, nuclear devices and uh, uh, narcotics not allowed inside the uh, hotel. Nuclear devices and narcotics. I got a picture, I only clicked it, I, I didn't go inside because I, I, I didn't have the guts to go there and uh, order some food there. I don't know when a nuclear device will go off there in the neighboring table. So uh, this morning, this ET, today, today just now in the uh, economic times this has appeared, I quickly captured this. It says cyber card shops stay a step ahead of banks. The increase of uh, crimes in this is 125%. And most of the cases are not being reported all, all outside the court, they settle uh, the matters. And also, cloning of all the cards has become much, much easier. And we can even clone all your security cards from a distance. When you are going towards your uh, uh, lift or the gate or anybody, somebody can come just little short of brushing you, he can just click that uh, um, um, uh, security card. Not only your uh, um, debt, deb debit card or other card, even your security entrance cards and we can do it. Have a look at this ET today, it is available to you. So bank frauds have increased. I am now coming into the area where Mr. Ram Sastri, Sastri dealt, dealt upon very, very um, uh, knowledgeably. This is here. Bank frauds loss has jumped 88% in a year. So that one company which was man managed by a Pune-based software in, uh, in uh, USA, they robbed $48 million by, uh, through ATMs. So every smartphone is a computer and over a billion non-tech non, non savvy or tech savvy, I think uh, we, we must give credit to the youngsters, uh, a billion tech savvy citizens will soon rely on these computers for their banking while playing golf or doing any other thing. We are the largest and most vulnerable victim population globally as far as this instrument is concerned. When Lord Ian Blair had come to my office when I was commissioner of police, uh, someone asked me, please give me advice as a young uh, deputy commissioner. He took out his mobile number and said, beware of this instrument. This is the weapon of mass destruction, the WMD, which, uh, which uh, they were searching in, the, in Iran. Another thing you can see, what amount of crime, what brilliant crime could be committed, this is that bringing in of the Bitcoin. Now, through this Bitcoin, again, you could buy everything which is, which is contraband, including narcotics, weapons or whatnot, organized crime syndicates were using it, money laundering could be done, and this is that silk road through which you can order all your narcotics and things like that. And the value of Bitcoin went up like anything. And now it is, it is, it is, it is, it is collapsing uh, e e everywhere. In India, one young boy came here and asked me advice whether he can start one exchange. I said, definitely do that. I will see you in the lockup some other day. So here is the is is the is the is the, is the cloning. 3D printed ATM skimmer can be produced at home with instructions downloaded from the internet. So internet is the biggest cul culprit actually. All things are going wrong because of internet. We should completely close down internet and be happy about it. But at least all your uh, chaukidars and others can be told how to feel below that and find out whether a skimmer has been attached. Technically we should train them a little bit more. I would like to again emphasize having a chaukidar, not having a chaukidar is a big issue now. Chaukidars without weapon is a big issue. Maharashtra government has banned that. 
But in Karnataka, about 1100 ATMs have been closed because Chaukidars are not there. But tell me, Chaukidar is also a human being. He can be neutralized. He is uh, suffering from hunger and various other things. He has to answer nature's call. He can be tackled any easily. And if that is the kind of a thing, how do we believe that Chaukidar is a foolproof uh, mechanism? So, it is a combination of the most modern technology and manpower and maybe uh, in the main fortresses, uh, perimeter wall and all that, an animal could also be used. ATM, I am not suggesting animal, but we can use technology, 3G, 4G, connectivity, having a command center. Very few banks have command centers monitoring their branches. The other day I visited a, a huge uh, networking bank here uh, in Dadar and then I found appalling condition, absolutely an invitation to a robber. Then on my own, I made a picture, I planned, I drew the picture and then how many thousand things can be improved. I sent it to the branch manager, nothing happened, not even a thank you to me because they are just not bothered, you know, they are not just bothered. I can name the bank also. Now, we, um, uh, we yes, I run a company called Securus first, my two um, uh, uh, young uh, assistants, people who are assisting me are here working with me. And they were, uh, we were commissioned by a bank, a foreign bank for that matter, to uh, uh, hack their uh, system. And all that they had to do is to go there and offer a freebie of a f um, this one, this uh, IP5. And that manager was too happy and uh, filled up a form and all that, did everything and all that. And then they gave a CD, he inserted the CD into the system, lo and behold, his bank was open and even the headquarters in the foreign country in the Middle East was also open for us. We could tell them, this is how it is. As I said, you build a fortress, digital fortress, as Mr. Ram Sastri said, but if the chabi is kept inside and if somebody can open it and welcome you for a freebie of a five, you know, I, I, uh, what is it called? Uh, this phone, uh, Apple 5. Then uh, next time I can give you a better Apple or better something else, then you will open. So we are fond of freebies. It sounds very harsh, but it is true that freebies is, is RBI. Circular 2014, it says, you know, the, the onus of proving the customer level negligence would be on the bank. The whole onus of compensating in any kind of a, this kind of a thing is totally on the bank. You have to work hard to prove that the mistake is committed by him. Read the circular, all of you are, if you are connected to banks, read the circular again. So it gives you more responsibility and you have to compensate the customer wherever he loses money. So what are the key issues? Senior management is not involved. Mr. Ram Sastri dwelt upon that wonderfully well, that the seniors don't bother about it. There is under-reporting of crimes to law enforcement. Just six days before I heard about a bank, some 56 lakhs was taken away in the ATM. They didn't even file a case. They just compensated and sorted it out because of this outsourcing activity. It was not even uh, in a statistics, uh, uh, it is not improved in the uh, Mumbai police uh, records. Investigations are often inconclusive and they do not deal with the root cause of the problem. Banks rely on insurance for risk mitigation, ignoring factors such as loss of customer confidence and their own image. The other day, one truck carrying 5 rupee coins was seized by the election commissioner in Chennai and they found only a driver and a cleaner, nothing else, no certificate, no document, no nothing. It is carrying 5 rupee coins. We can definitely, if an Axel or any other person knows that this is a kind of, and newspapers elaborately carried every bit of thing about what are loopholes there in the currency carrying system. Uh, so, so that is the situation, definitely. Internal vigilance mechanism is weak. 57% uh, of frauds in the corporate world and other places are committed by insiders. I was joint uh, director of CBI for West Zone, including Rajasthan, Gujarat, Goa and Maharashtra for three years in Mumbai. I can tell you for, with that experience that this 57% is a fact. So sound security understanding is ignored in favor of business growth. Return on investment on security, if you calculate, peacetime, even the army need not be there. They can be plowing the fields, then why should they be practicing if return of in, uh, uh, ROI is calculated? Security, uh, uh, I, I mentioned about ROI. We need more intelligence tools, analytics and proactive measures. Post-mortem tool called CCTV doesn't work. They are all analog, they are old. All ATMs are having outdated CCTV cameras where the pictures are not clear. Even banks have that. 
high time we went to IP and net, better networking and clear images and positioning of these cameras properly. In short, we are always reacting badly to threats rather than nipping them in the bud. Anticipation, 9-11. Uh, Enquiry Commission said the whole catastrophe happened because of the lack of imagination by the government. Intelligence was there. So, done. I finish. Uh, so, we have to detect, react and deter. This is what the, late, the later three is what we have to concentrate and not the uh, um, uh, uh, post-mortem exercise. So, video analytics as uh, Mr. Ramasastri mentioned and new technology, investment, command centers linking ATMs. Technically, it's a challenge as on today, but 4G is coming, 3G is coming, wherever it is possible, it can be done. Biometrics, access everywhere, forensics and incidents response capabilities as it is happening with a QRT. Someone mentioned about QRT. In real time basis, if the alerts come, we can use a deploy a QRT of the banks. Internal vigilance to prevent connivance and sabotage. The, I mentioned elaborately about that. Fire safety. Most of the banks are suffering from fire hazards. And I have visited many a site and uh, I have found that sheer negligence. On a weekend, they leave the computer on and all that uh, um, electric gadgets on. Uh, even in the RBI, uh, they, when they left this thing, on a Sunday morning at 11.15, in a place there was a fire incident. So, we can, we can take care about that then the mantra should be access control and anti-sabotage checks. Thank you for listening. It's a wonderful uh, day. Have a very, very fruitful day ahead. It's a good exercise. Thank you very much for inviting me.